I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Y'all are just going to have two parts to your reading. Um, Because my battery was dying and I thought it stopped recording and I kind of just made it stop recording even though it wasn't done recording and now this is a new video and i'm not merging them together so um i feel like there's a person in your life and you're trying to like edge them to do something you're trying to push them to do something you're trying to encourage encourage them to do something to um kind of take a leap of faith or be more assertive dominant to do something on their own okay i i'm feeling like in some sort of way they are codependent on you um with this three of wands card and you're kind of trying to like push them to be more independent okay this could be um i'm picking up like maybe some of you might have kids so maybe you are trying to teach your your kids or your child responsibility um and kind of like push them out into the real world or get them to be a little bit less dependent on you that's kind of what i'm getting here too like a side story for somebody um, for others, this is your romantic interest that you are trying to encourage to open up or change in some sort of type of way here. Um, but I feel like this person is kind of just not doing that. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like they're stuck a little bit with their, their feet in the water. I want to say, I feel like they're a little stubborn too. Yeah, I'm getting a completely side story for someone who has kids or a child and they're trying to um, kind of just trying to teach their child certain values, trying to get them prepared for the real world, trying to kind of put them out there, encourage them to do something, maybe get a job or something. I'm kind of getting like this is a teenager vibe. If you have a child, that could be a side story to this story for you. Um, for others, of course, yeah, there is a, a relationship that you are second guessing here um four of wands high priestess five of swords yeah your intuition um you're feeling conflicted i feel like you're trying to follow your intuition but your ego is getting in the way it's kind of like a battle of your intuition and your ego you're really second guessing something here let's see what is this um let's see what this seven of cups is for you sagittarius I'm so sorry that you guys are going to have a split reading, but a split reading is better than no reading. So let's see. What is this seven of cups for Sagittarius for the month of April? A lot of stuff trying to pop out. The page of wands just tried to pop out. So that could be um, a child, a fire sign child, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone you view as childlike or maybe immature. Okay. What is this? All right. Seven of cups. We have the seven of wands. The Emperor, Queen of Wands, the Hermit, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, so there's confusion here, all right? You, again, are second-guessing something with the Two of Swords, or you're, you're not making a decision to do something. Um, the Hermit card is very heavily something on your mind that you've been reflecting on, okay? I feel like you're just overthinking something here in the month of March. You're overthinking the, the success of a situation or a relationship, with the Queen of Wands in the middle, I feel like this is um, this is potentially your energy. The Queen of Wands basically gets whatever it is that she sets out to get, okay? She is a magician in her own right, all right? She's a manifester. So with the Seven of Wands and the Emperor, this is about standing up for yourself. This is about control. You also could be dealing with an Aries, all right? Or some sort of authority figure, someone. I'm hearing like police officer, all right? So your partner could be a police officer. You could be a police officer. But I feel like you're trying to manifest like control in a situation or you're trying to get someone an emperor okay so this could be your lover this could be some sort of male figure um in your life you're trying to get someone to be more more assertive more dominant okay um in the relationship you're trying to get someone to kind of be a little bit more confident to do something here to hold more of a um a dominant position between you guys i feel like you want someone to like man up even if this is in regards to a female you want someone to kind of like hold their weight all right something like that then you have the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck you could be wanting someone to communicate with you okay we have the devil card and then we have the nine of pentacles and then the hierophant 
and then adjust this card you're yeah it's something about like codependency or someone who is afraid to do something you're trying to help someone grow up or be more independent um and then you're second guessing the situation so whatever you're second guessing i don't know if that's with this person or if that's totally separate okay let's see what the uh potential outcome is i did see the sun card so i mean it has the potential to be um to be a happy situation i see the six of pentacles all right potential to be very balanced what is going to be the potential outcome concerning this for Sagittarius, the month of April? All right. You know what? I want to do the advice. Let's see. What is the advice for Sagittarius? Okay, because the energy is all over the place. So I feel like you guys need some advice. Six of Pentacles, Magician. All right. Page of Swords. Five of Wands again. And then you have the High Priestess. So I feel like your advice is to, hmm, your advice is to follow your intuition, okay? In order for you to bring in this balance that you want with the Six of Pentacles and manifest with the Magician, okay? The Page of Swords is kind of like a sitting energy, an observing energy, um, a watching energy. And with this Five of Swords, I feel like this is mental conflict. This is you overthinking something. All right, you kind of going against your gut feeling and logically feeling as if something can't work out, okay? It's like your gut is telling you one thing, but, and you want to follow it, you want to believe in it, but then your mind gets in the way and you start, you start bringing up all these scenarios that don't even exist, okay? Um, so there's a need for you to follow your intuition here. Whatever the gut feeling is telling you, there's a need for you to follow that and believe in that. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's how you're going to manifest um, this victory. That's going. That's how you're going to manifest this, this positiveness for yourself. Right now, victory, blossoming, and abundance is in the reverse. But if you want something to work out, you need to just trust it, okay? You need to trust it. You need to trust yourself. You need to trust your intuition. And that's going to be the start of things moving forward for you, okay? With this page of pentacles, all right? Ooh, okay. So just trust yourself. Trust in a situation. Stop overthinking, Sagittarius. That's what I have for you for the month of April. Again, this is part two, okay? So make sure you are watching both parts. If this does resonate with you, please leave me a comment below letting me know how um don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel you guys all right and i will see you next time